Okay, so we're making the left leg now. Uh, we've, it's the same construction as the right leg, where we've got the top cap, you've got the 25mm uh, M8 connector with the 30mm um, M6 thread that goes through there. That slots and threads into here. The dimensions are slightly different to, from the right leg, but it's pretty much the same deal. You slot that in, the uh, locking nut goes in, slots in there, and we'll work the way down, work way down from there. Yeah. Small interlude. Here's some caps. These are slightly different caps from the other ones where they've got a slight uh, rounding on them. But it's the same process where uh, the shield, on this case, the shield goes on the front. So the shield attaches to the calf and the open side attaches to the top. So because of that, the connector bolt goes in on the left hand side. I did on the other one where you've got the M3 bolt, an M3 spring washer, and an M3 normal washer. On this side, I'm not going to try. It. I'm going to try it without using the M4 washer to see whether or not this is good enough. And the instructions will reflect whichever method was successful. There we go, so th there is a bit of a gap in there based on how this model works, but uh, so this might need retightening a little bit more, or it has a little bit more play in it. But again, it's just something if you wanted to retighten, you just retighten that particular bolt there, and that's it. So, with the idea that you've got the shield goes on the lower side of it, so this slots in that way around, and that's pretty snug. Let's see if we can take a bit of that support off it. That's one downside of this particular model is the because this is supported on this side, it gets a little bit rough, but it only needs to go in once, I suppose. Yeah, that's going to break if I take it any further. It probably means it will break when I take it apart. Because this section here is not very strong. Because you've only got half the width on there. So any sort of additional pressure you put on here in this just bit, this bit here just tears along the sprint print seam. And then if you put additional pressure on this end, again, it just snaps it there. And the annoying thing is that potentially if it doesn't work, then you've broken both parts. Let's see if the bottom part is worth fighting with as well. That bit fits fine. So we're okay to continue on the left, and now we'll fix this off screen on the right. So that's the calf put in, you can see you just slot it in, it's got that gap in there to put a bolt in, but you saw how easily it snapped in, um, that's not coming apart again easily. Whereas this side will never come apart, I don't think. The uh, process for the, the foot is pretty much the same, that slots through there, and then that threads into that. As with the other leg, um, there is space to put a bolt in the, or sorry, a nut in that side of it to keep it sitting at the right size or the right placement. Um, but I haven't found that you needed that. Be 
because of the way that this part's printed, this is quite weak. So be careful when you're screwing it together is that you don't put too much pressure on this bit is sort of twisting it when you're holding it. We can grab it by this bit down here. And the foot, slot that in, get your M4, slot that in. Yeah. Get a different screwdriver bit. Okay, well that's mostly done once I fix that bit. If not, then you'll probably see these same parts printed slightly differently. Whatever it comes with, the, uh, the parts will be remeasured and the uploaded models will be the ones that will have the appropriate tolerances on. Interestingly, the prototype model of this was built using matte PLA and this metallic PLA has got completely different clearances. It seems like the mat was a lot more accurate in, it, uh, in its final dimensions, but a little bit messier on the surface, whereas the smooth, or this, this PLA, is less dimensionally accurate. But strangely, the supports were a lot more accurate and a lot, more, a lot easier to detach. So, let's see if we can get this fixed off camera. So, this is the right hand arm. You've got the forearm, the hand, the fingers, a little bit of a decorative piece that sits in there, a decorative piece that sits in the hand, and the familiar elbow slash knee joint, and this uh, set of parts, which are the upper arm, the bicep. And this is the hardware we're needing. The main difference on the hardware is we've put two of these little nuts already on. And that's where the shoulder will sit in here. Um, and this will sit into the main torso. So these are already predetermined as to how long I want these uh, to be. This is an M50 bolt. Sorry, not an M50 bolt, an M5, uh, but it's 50 mil long. Um, I've left a bit of length on there so we can mount some additional hardware onto it or additional parts onto it at a later date um, for changing it to different models and such like. But this could be shortened to 40 or if you buy a pack of M540 bolts, then this will be fine as well. Uh, so, the one of the things that is slightly different in this particular model is this particular connector here. Um, and it's like a rotary version, but it's using the clips that is found in the ARC um, enclosure for the P1P, the Pot and Bamboo P1P. Um, and this snaps into here and then that pushes into there. We do have some gluing parts to do here. Um, the fingers are glued in, the decorative pieces are glued in, so we'll do that first, and then we'll work on the elbow, which is a bit that you've seen multiple times already. So, and the two fingers, the larger the fingers goes on the bottom side and the smaller the fingers on the top side, so we'll do that next. And then if we wanted to we can connect these together right now. So it just pushes in place like that. And then the hand again it just slots in like that. And then this can just rotate inside of that joint. The next part we'll work on is up here, which is where the uh, elbow is working. Don't get your parts mixed up. So, because this is an elbow, we want it to not bend backwards, which means that the shield goes on the top side. And it goes in like that. That's pretty tight and that will get stuck like the leg did. And so I need to file this down a little bit. And again, the final model will be reduced ever so slightly on that bottom side to make it fit a little bit better. 
but we could go ahead and it's basically the same uh, process as before where you screw these guys in and together using this hardware here which I won't bore, with, bore you with for the third time so we'll move on to the upper arm and again this is glued pieces these little rods only fit in one direction so try it out before you decide to start gluing up make sure you know which way they're going they're both orient the same direction put a dab in there and the other side is the same so this is your shoulder going in and so you need the holes lining up with the appropriate way around so that's not the right way around that's the right way around one thing to be aware of when you're gluing this one is this hole and this hole bisect the central hole so be careful when you're gluing it that you only put glue in the far sides otherwise you might accidentally put glue into that middle section and if you're not ready to put it together you may, you may glue it to the uh, elbow so I put a dab of glue in this side and a dab of glue in this side uh, that was a bit excessive one bit I said to be careful of get yourself lined up will that fit yep that's it I would see the glue is squeezed out into the middle there it's gone all over the place because I put my house to march on. So we'll fix this bit and then we'll see it being pulled together in a second. So this is the left arm. Um, most of the main assembly is all together, so the elbows together, making sure that the shield is on the top side, and the shoulders all together with the locking nuts and the capping on it. These have been glued in. Likewise, these parts have been glued in and the arc clip is in, so you really are just snapping that together, slotting that in. One thing to know is if you do it the wrong way around, this bottom bit will crack here because it'll hit this wall here. Um, and slot that in. And this one's a little bit loose, so we'll probably put and then four in the back of that. And there's your right arm done. Quite easily just pop the arm parts and it's a very very similar process for all of them, deliberately so. But you just put those in, tighten it up and then you can see the arm is going to stay where it's put. Likewise, the other side, sit, seat the ball into the socket, and there's his arm in, and we'll do the same thing on the legs as well.